to my first video in my new series called Let's Talk. So I will be talking to different people about different things and this is going to be my first one and I'm going to be talking to my mom about um, her making my vegan soap. So here we go. So this is my mom, Wilma. Hi. And we are in her soaping room right now where she has just made me a fresh batch, two fresh batches of my vegan soap that I pre-ordered before I came here. Okay, the first one is, um, this one is made with uh, chocolate fragrance and coffee fragrance and vanilla fragrance. And what makes it vegan is there's no animal products. The way soap used to be made is um, with any fat, any animal fats. This is made with coconut oil, olive oil, uh, sweet almond oil, um, uh, what other oils did I put in there? Uh, castor oil and glitter. Of and course there's got to be glitter in be my glitter. soap. If it's Jennifer's, it's glittery. <laughs> and uh, fragrance. And so soap is made into a batter and it's poured into a mold and after 24 hours it can be cut. So this is the, um, uh, she used to get coconut fragrance, but this one is vanilla and chocolate and coffee fragrance. And it smells amazing. Oh, and then so good. This one is peppermint. And this one is done uh, basically the same way as the other one only I've colored two different pinks and a white. The white is um, titanium dioxide. This one has got sesame oil, olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil. Um, the only difference I believe is the sesame oil. The recipe proportions are a little bit different. Um, and all soap is made with sodium hydroxide, which is lye and water, distilled water. And this one has got glitter again. Of course. <laughs> and the way I do the swirls is I make the batter and then I put it in three different containers and color them the three different colors. And then I pour it all back into the base, into the bottom of the mold, and I'll show you a mold in just a second. Now is the color a special color for soap? The color is for, this is called cold process soap, and the colors are special colors that are for soap. Some of them are micas, and some of them are pigments. These are mica colors. That's cool. And so I pour it into the bottom of a mold, which is here. This is, say, one of the molds. And I pour the white in. And then from a height, I pour one of the pinks in, and then I pour another one of the pinks in, and then some more of the white, some more of the pink, and then when I get to the top, I just pour this and this. And then I go in there and I stir it. One little, one little stir gives you a swirl. So would that mean every batch would look a little bit different? You can't repeat a batch. Okay. You can't repeat a batch. That's kind of cool. So I've got all different kinds of molds. I've got these molds that were made by my brother-in-law that make larger batches. Cool. I think this makes about a seven pound batch. And then this mold here is also made by my brother-in-law. This is what the white one was made in. That's cool. And then they all have lids because you need to keep the oxygen away uh, while it's saponifying. Saponif saponification is what happens when the sodium hydroxide mixes with the oils and it becomes soap. And a byproduct of soap is glycerin. So these soaps do not have any chemicals that the store-bought soaps, big box store soaps, um, they take out the glycerin because they can sell it for other products. 
uh, cosmetics and food and things like that. This soap is natural state, no carcinogenics, no chemicals, no preservatives, and this is totally vegan. And that's perfect for me. It has to age, it, this, these are my curing racks, and it has to age for four to six weeks on the curing rack in order to lose the water. If you, you could use this now, but it wouldn't last very long in the shower. After it's aged, it'll last a long time in the shower. This here is soap that is ready to clean, meaning I scrape off any rough edges and make it all nice for, um, for sale. This is 100% Castile soap, which means the oil in it is a 100% olive oil soap. So there's no colorant, no scent. This, this is made for sensitive skin. Um, so all there is is olive oil and lye and distilled water. That's cool. After the saponification, there is no lye left in it. And it's a very, very mild soap. Oh, that's awesome. This soap is colored with parsley. So I try to use natural colorants. Uh, this is mica colorant, which is not natural. Okay? This is a natural colorant. You'll find natural colorants are more subdued. They're more in the earth tones and yeah, things like that. Yeah, that's not super creamy. No. And yeah. this has got a fragrance of green apples. Yes, I love that. I did steal one of those. Did you? <laughs> yes. I love the soaping room. <laughs> and this one, it's not very pink. This one here is um, roses. So pretty. And smells very much like, well, it smells like roses. This one is an unscented, so unscented soap should just smell like good, clean soap. And this one has a seashell mold that I made on the top. So pretty. I love it. And it just reminded me of the ocean. And it's got natural, the colorants in this one are all made from clay. Uh, rose clay. Um, the other clays I've got are um, uh, French green clay, um, the mud, you know, all that kind of stuff is really good for your skin. That's awesome. I love and it. the mess is from making the lip balms. I just I got the mess. I didn't get the mess in. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, had an order of lip balms as well because mom makes me vegan lip balms. So here's a close up of my soap, and this is the. I already took one of these in for in the shower, and it's awesome. It's so glittery. I love it. And so to clean the soaps, you would just go with, this is a blade in here, and this is a peeler. Okay. Plain old peeler. And so to clean the soap, we just take it and we would just shave it off until it's nice and smooth. That needs oh, maybe yeah. a bit more shaving. And then you would just take off your edges until they're nice and smooth. Now this being a natural um, soap, it's a little bit stiffer, a little bit rougher than... It's a nice hard soap, will last a long time in the shower. So once I've cleaned that, then I take these curls off the edges or you see these little grooves, you can put your corner in the groove and peel it that way. And it cool. makes that nice edge like you see on some factory yeah, factory soaps. So that's a lot of work then. And that's how I've done this one. This is an already cleaned soap. Oh yeah, it looks perfect. Nice and smooth. These are already cleaned soaps. Nice and smooth. Yeah, they look perfect. Now you can and see my lip balm mess. And it just leaves you mess. little <laughs> curls. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Leftovers of the lip balm. She had green glitter lip balm. This is what's left over. And pink lip balm. 
She's my only glitter customer. Yeah. I'm a good customer. <laughs> this is the tray that we pop all, I can do 50 at one time. So this is the tray you pop the bottom of the lip balm container in here. And then you can pour, it stands up on it. You can pour it all in. That's awesome. Then you pop them out. And you have to heat them with a heat gun. And, and the lip balms all have this vitamin E oil in it. This is a lip sweetener. Uh, she had blueberry bliss and a blue raspberry colorant and a pink colorant that I used the whole package of. Vibrant pink. And glitter. And this is the <laughs> glitter. This is a lips. Everything has to be lip safe or cosmetic grade. So there's my lip glitter we ordered this out of the out of the states and anytime you use anything like this you have to actually it has to actually say for lip yes on there this is the wax that I use instead of beeswax to make them vegan this is candelia wax if I'm saying that correctly c-a-n-d-e-l-l-i-l-a Candelilla, hmm. Candelilla wax, which is a vegetable wax, and it's very hard to melt. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. And that's it. Lots of pots, lots of squirt bottles, lots of... Yeah, lots of supplies. I make laundry soap for a friend, so food processor, um, lots of supplies. This, oh yeah, show me my, your cabinet. These are my fragrances. That's the cabinet of plenty right there. Essential oils, fragrance. It's got everything. Essential oils, stuff, additives. And then you pan over to my beautiful soap. <laughs> this is my soap cutter that cuts, cuts the soap. You can see how it, how it works there. And I request my bars to be small. So that's why all my white bars are small. I like to have small bars of soap for some reason. I made some a little bit. So some, a little bit. Yeah, different. I like that they're all different sizes, but I like a small. This is bar. a log splitter. Can you see the wire there? Yeah. So yours was a big slab to start with, and then I tipped it up on end, and you make you push it through, and it cuts it into logs, which are this this tile. Right. Right push it through there and then keep pushing it through there until you have all your logs cut. Then you go to this one and cut your individual bars. That's awesome. And then we got scraps and shavings and that goes into, nothing really goes to waste. This is going to go into bars that I give away. This is when I, you melt it in a crock pot, grate it up, melt it in a crock pot, and I put cocoa powder and chocolate scent in it. Cool. And it smells like chocolate. Mmm, that does. That smells like a macaroon kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just... So nothing goes to waste. No. And this is what I make dad use. <laughs> dad gets the leftover yeah. stuff. Leftovers and... <laughs> Poor dad. Curls and samples <laughs> and this is a really good bar. This is um, hemp oil, kalonji seed and dandelion tea. Nice. Um, this is a really good bar for skin problems, acne, anything like that. It's got uh, coconut oil, olive oil, uh, palm oil, um, canola oil, hemp oil, castor oil, stearic acid, cane sugar, essential oils, and activated charcoal. Awesome. The That's pretty. People buy this for a masculine oh, okay. type. And it's got a bit of a citrus scent. Yeah. That's the, it's Litsi Kubiba and I cedar like it. wood. So it's, it's more of a masculine. And this was part of the Back to Nature series that we did last year. Uh, everything is natural. There's no, fla there's no fragrance oils. It's all essential oils. Nice. And there's no artificial coloring. It's only by natural. Oh, I like that. That's things. awesome. Yeah. And kalanji seed, if you look up kalanji seed, it's very good for you internally and externally. And one of the articles said that it cures anything except death. 
<laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I'll have to good. Google it. That's got to be good. <laughs> yeah. Those are, these are orders. And I make shampoo bars, uh, lip balms. I'm just going to do, um, uh, what are the bubble? Bath bombs. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, and last year, I only have one of these left, but last year I did a uh, coconut and clay facial mask. Awesome. With your, these are plastic spoons, you don't put metal into it, and you can mix it with yogurt or milk or coconut milk or whatever and do a mask, and it's really good for taking out blackheads. Cool. That's awesome. And I have, you could do one if you like. Oh, I nice. Have, I will yeah. do one. That's fantastic. So I don't have a large stock now because um, I didn't do the Mind and Body Fair this year. Um, lip balms. I do lots of... Yeah, oh, there's a naked lip balm. That's the one that I use. A naked meaning there's no scent mm -hmm. and no color and this one is vegan, meaning it's done with the vegan candelilla wax rather than beeswax. Yeah, and it's awesome. It's hydrating and smooth. So I have six or seven different kinds of lip balm. And I only charge $3 for them, which it, they go over quite well. Yeah, and they're natural mm -hmm. and handmade. And that's all I can tell you. Well, and that's so fantastic. Thank you so much for telling me all about your soap and your soaping room and being my first Let's Talk video. Okay. That's so exciting. And I need to do another close up on my soap. Oh, and this one, Mom stamped. So this is the end piece. One of the end pieces. I test stamped it. She test stamped it. Look at all that soap. Love it. So that's Hi. the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and look out for more of my Let's Talk videos. I'm excited you could be here for my first one. Thanks, Mom. See you. Bye.